Good afternoon, ladies and gentlemen. Ray, thank you for having me here today. Peter, thanks for the warm introduction. Uh, my name is Chuck Allen. I am running for sheriff, but I want to talk to you today about things that you may not know about Chuck Allen, uh, to include why am I running for sheriff? Let me address that first question right off the top. Uh, it's an opportunity. It's an opportunity for the citizens of Washoe County, not for Chuck Allen, uh, to, to take care of the citizens of this great county. I come with a very diverse background, and my platform, quite frankly, is all about commitment to this community. Uh, in addition to serving Nevada as a state trooper for the past 24 years, I am a 30-year member of the military, currently serving at the rank of Chief Master Sergeant with the Nevada Air National Guard. Uh, I attained the rank of Chief uh, three years ago, and I have deployed to many wonderful places throughout the world, up to and including places in, 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 such as Iraq, Germany, Ecuador, P Puerto Rico, etc. cetera. And uh, I, I come with service to the community as my platform. In addition to my 30 years of military service, I believe, it's my belief that the sheriff, whoever that person is, needs to be in tuned, needs to be engaged with the community. I have established a rapport with the citizens of Washoe County uh, for many years as a spokesperson for my agency. And uh, I'm a very visible leader in the community too. I am currently serving on the board of directors for the Nevada Humane Society here in Reno. Uh, one of the best no-kill shelters in the entire country. Uh, I served four years as the secretary, and uh, recently this year was elected to vice president of the organization. I am a big fan and champion of, advocate of Special Olympics Nevada. Uh, in 2009, that particular nonprofit organization was identified as the charity of choice by Nevada's Law Enforcement Sheriffs and Chiefs Association, and I have done my part for the past 11 years to uh, create awareness, to help raise money, for the 750 plus advocate, or athletes who participate in Special Olympics here in Northern Nevada. I'm also uh, engaged at the national level as the past president, uh, vice president, and immediate past president of the National Information Officers Association. It's a group of over 600 PIOs from around the country in Canada who uh, are mostly from the public safety arena. And uh, rhetorically, I would ask the audience, what do you think would be the most difficult day for a sheriff in Washoe County? Would it be responding to a mass shooting? Would it be responding to um, a, a disaster involving a train and a, and a semi truck or the death of a fellow officer? And unfortunately, as a spokesperson for my agency, I have to get out in front of those things. And, 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 and because when you're talking to the media, people don't realize this, when you're speaking to the media, you're actually speaking to the citizens of this county, of this state. And that, that is a difficult task at times to do that, to get out in front and, and address the public. So uh, I am running for sheriff. Again, my platform is all about commitment to this community. And I love people. And the first thing I'm going to do when I take office is create a climate survey of the organization. I want to know what makes the organization tick. Because as a sheriff, as a leader of any organization, your people, those people, are your greatest resource. And the more harmonious, the more, uh, the better the environment of the organization, the more productivity they will be in serving the citizens of Nevada. And then I want to interview everybody. And then thirdly, what I want to do is rejuvenate and revitalize the reserve deputy program. There is a lot of talent in this community, both at, from the city, county, state, and federal offices, men and women, talented, trained, who are ready to serve. And that is one way of producing an additional level of service to the citizens of Washoe County at a very, very small fraction of the cost. So looks like I have the red flag. Uh, Peter, thank you. I'm Chuck Allen. I would appreciate your vote. I am a conservative. I care about the citizens of Washoe County. And I look forward to uh, serving as your sheriff. Thank you. Questions? <laughs> we should have had you sit up there. <laughs> Our endorsements only come out a week before elections. And for everybody, 97%, because we, we're nonpartisan, 97% of the candidates were Republicans. They picked the top two, which also includes Chuck Allen for sheriff. So there you go. Um, the question that seemed to be more important to them was about the IDs and how that was going to work 
when they're driving and they have an ID and also you have the endorsement of my father who used to be the uh, public safety administrator for the state of Nevada and is now retired. Thank you. Was there a question there, Sherry? I'm sorry. Yeah, the, the, IDs, the, ID. the IDs and traffic stops and stuff like that because they, they associate you with the highway patrol. Okay. Well, I mean, I'll just, I'll just make that sound like a blanket question, so I'll give it a, a kind of a blanket answer. What has worked well for me as a trooper, as a guardsman, is fairness and equality. I've always treated everyone with equality and respect. And, I, and, and, and as a trooper, as a law enforcement official, I would expect a sheriff and all the deputies that serve for me uh, is that you treat everybody equally and fairly. And as long as folks have the right credentials with them, the appropriate actions will come. That's, that's plain and simple. It's all in how you treat people. Thank uh, you, next. Jack, have a question? Uh -huh. Yes, sir. I'm interested to know what plans or thoughts you'd have on how you'd reduce the crime rate in, in Washoe County. Good question. You know, um, one thing that deters crime is high visibility. And you, you can look at studies of uh, stats as it relates to law enforcement crimes across the country. But uh, a, a county, a state uh, who is, that is underserviced or undermanned, uh, you will see, if there isn't a visible presence of law enforcement officers out there, you will see an abundance in crime. So what I propose with the reserve deputy program, and I throw the number out there, the number 60, I would like to have 60 trained men and women who are yeah. trained, armed, and uniformed okay. who can go out and serve with the full-time force. For example, you've got a full-time deputy driving a Tahoe who was assi assigned to the south end of Reno when a call for service comes up involving a domestic dispute. If you have a reserve deputy riding with that full-time deputy, you need to send only one car to that call as opposed to taking two people who are on shift and sending them across the valley. So by providing a better level of service, um, and I know uh, somebody hit on the question earlier about uh, reporting crimes and if you're going to go to the internet. I'm, I'm unaware of that, but I have heard story after story. If the threshold of a crime isn't so high, you may be asked as a taxpayer to go to the website and do an online report, an alternative way of filing a report. What I want to do, I want to send a deputy to every call for service as long as I've got the reserves to do it, and it's a way of being fiscally responsible. Thank you, Chuck. Thank you, Ray. Our next speaker is a candidate for the Washington County Assessor, Mr. Mike Clark.